And we're back for what is probably going to be the end of the twin route. I, you know, I almost called it the Aru route. I guess it's the same thing pretty much. It's been mostly her. Early morning, we were headed for the secret base in the town of Not Yet Awakened. <clears throat> Yeah, it is kind of weird when you go out in the middle of the night. Early morning, huh? Alright, that looks like early morning. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Couldn't hear the sound of cars running on the asphalt or the hustle of people in the early morning of the town really did seem like another world. The air was also different from during the day or at night, it was fresh and new. まあ、この時間帯に外に出る日って、得てして普通ではない。どこか非日常なイベントがある時だったりするから。その補正もあってそう感じてるだけかもしれないですが。うん、I <laughs> No, I didn't dislike the peculiar early morning, the peculiar early morning air either. <laughs> yep, morning, that looks like morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Oh, you guys came this early too? <clears throat> Wait, this morning, not this early, although I guess I could just say the other one that would still work. Uh, no, no, I'm glad. I see. It wasn't like there was no... There was no reason to be nervous. Forming such a club had been my dream. Yep, let's go. Yeah, that looks like morning. After we moved the glider out to the runway, I started to check it carefully. To verify that the shape was not distorted from the front, the... The pytot, I forgot how to pronounce that. The last time we heard this word was like 50 parts ago. It wasn't clogged, the release wasn't deformed, and that there were no cracks or dents in the front left fuselage. I checked again and again to make sure that all the wheels, brakes, rudder, and aileron were all in perfect shape. Senpai, while I was absorbed and inspected the glider that stood there on the runway, Azaniyoko came over. Well, I suppose it's getting late, but I need to look it over many times. It would be a complete wreck if something were to happen to you two. If anything happened, I would never be able to forgive myself, despite the fact that it would not be your fault at all. After the trauma of the accident the other day, I was... Uh, more thorough than ever with the inspection, even though I was not the one who would be flying. <sighs> yeah, well, it looks okay. When the inspection was all finished, I breathed a sigh of relief. Everything should be just fine. Apart from me, Kori, uh, Kori and Agad both looked over the glider, too. I looked just once more before getting to the... I looked just once more. Is he saying that to him, himself? Like out loud? That sounds like something he'd think to himself. I looked just once more before getting to the winch operator. Okay. Oh, I guess it was just broken translation. Never mind. Uh, yes, I played with everyone to let me do it, even though originally I wasn't supposed to do it. It makes it sound like it's some sort of like a difficult job. Ah, uh, thanks, you guys. Yep, get ready to press that button very carefully. Ah, uh, 
Even though it was just the winch, it meant a lot to me. Some people say that the winchman's job is more difficult than the pilot's. Okay. After all, the winchman has to determine whether the conditions are suitable for takeoff. Do, do they? Don't the flags do that? And isn't it the pilot who says we're ready to go anyway, and not the winch person? They were staring blankly at the glider with determined looks on their faces. You nervous? Yeah, that's how it is. And their role was to go and catch a hold of that sky for us. And during the test flight, I checked Yulu's skills, so I knew that she had more than enough piloting skill to handle things now, and she was totally in sync with Aza. Asa's words were full of determination. Asa had become really promising. <sighs> We're really counting on you. And of course, Yoru was promising, responding in such a confident manner. Hmm? Okay, I assumed they would do that anyway. Uh, yeah, sure, when you get back, we'll all take a photo together. Even if Yoru hadn't said it, Kori Eger or I would probably have suggested that anyway, yeah, see? I want to hold on to these memories of being with everyone. What's to dislike about photos? Uh, Yoru doesn't like photos? Uh, maybe that's because there was nothing productive about him. Sounds just like Yoru. I see. I think everyone would be delighted at this change of heart. The two of them were eagerly preparing for boarding. I glanced at the two of them and then went to prepare the winch. The winch was on the opposite end of the runway from the glider. The winch operator's job is to operate the winch, obviously, why'd you have to say that? Which allows the glider to take off, yes, I'm pretty sure we've been over this quite a few times now. Ah, well, I'm just gonna... First, just like the glider, I needed to check that the machine was operating properly. While I was sitting there preparing the tow, Kanako came over. Uh, yeah, me too, I haven't been able to stop sweating for a while. Even though it was still chilly outside, sweat kept dripping from my forehead and running down my cheeks. If we made any mistakes operating the winch, it could be more dangerous than piloting the glider itself. I couldn't allow myself to be negligent like the other day and cause another accident, so I needed to stay as alert as possible. I had to take the utmost care with the check. I could see that Akari, Mabo, Anchan, Hotaru, Hibari, and everyone else in the dormitory had come to see how things would go that day. Seemed as if they had come to support us. And I'm grateful. I think that there is a strength in solitude, but there's no design that synergist effect when groups of people gather together. I suppose I like both ways, but that, that time I thought that being with the group was really great. I like the feeling of pedaling a bike entirely solo, but I also like flying the glider that we had all worked on to create together. Comma? Okay, it just ends with a comma. Uh, strangely enough, this is scarier than flying it myself. But I feel just as much anticipation, anticipation as when I'm flying myself. I'm so excited. Yes, this button, I need to press it really carefully. Yeah, even though I couldn't fly, I didn't feel like it was someone else's trip at all. Even though I couldn't fly it myself, it was still just as scary and just as fun. Uh, 
とあの子たちも親である私の手を離れて飛び立っていっちゃうのね。It's not like they're really kids or anything. So, no, could I kawaii te koto? Kawaii kohai. Yeah, I guess so. For me, they're girlfriends. Yapa, doshimo, so I should put a swarling of its kiot te reba yokota no. No, why is that? Mina mabushimono. Tanoisa. Who would you date? There's only me. But aren't you dating someone right now? I don't think anyone thinks of you as an outsider. Hmm? Yeah. But She's not with anyone, is she? She's not with anyone, is she? Hold on. I don't know. I try not to pay any attention to her at all. And I don't really remember much about her. But I don't think she's with anyone. So I don't know what translation. Well, we'll just go with that. Although Kanako was supposedly singing the praise of the Soaring Club, it seemed somehow like she was really just praising me. It was a little creepy. I'm really glad to hear you say such nice things about the Soaring Club. Thank you for everything you've done. I felt awkward, so I just answered that way. Yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. Senpai, Junbi ga kanjou shimashita. As we were talking, we heard Yoru announce over the radio, not not muffled at all, that all the preparations for takeoff were complete. Nagaya, who was holding back the wings, gave her signal with the flags that everything outside was okay too. Both the wings were still beautifully level. All right, you two have fun. Hi. Itte kimas. Okay, ready, start. I told everyone on the radio again and took the lever in my sweaty hand. Oh, it's a lever. Oh, man, you have to pull the lever and then push it back into position. That's... Whew. After one breath, I switched gears and began watching the timing. Okay, hurry back. Oh, okay, no, no, I get what he's saying. I pushed the lever and started winding the cable. Cord pulled the glider along. The aircraft began to speed up like a fish being tugged along on a fishing line. The wheels left the ground. Oh man, oh, is it okay? <laughs> is, is the glider okay? Oh man, are... It's okay. Thanks, game. The glider lifted its nose aiming at the sky. Well, I mean, I guess it is doing that. Yeah, I guess it's not lying. When the aircraft was completely airborne, it began to accelerate rapidly. Like, to the speed of light, apparently. The wire led the glider into the sky like a kite on a string. Now. Just as I shouted, the cable was disconnected. The cable fell from the glider and the parachute opened. Meanwhile, the aircraft's angle began to stabilize and it was gliding through the air. Mm -hmm, that's, uh, that's definitely what's happening. As I gazed at it for a while, they caught the first thermal without any problems and were able to stabilize it right at, at the a right altitude according to plan. Thank, thank you. Uh, it was a successful takeoff. We'll see how things go from here. I was praying that they could hold on to that corridor. We have to go through everyone? Yep, mm-hmm. Why doesn't he have his glasses on? Everyone was holding their breath closely following the trajectory of the glider. <laughs> Just then, two girls familiar with them came along. She's a classmate, the one that got in the fight with Yoru at Wendy's. なんだ。心配してそうしちゃった。本当寂しそうだったから気にしてたってやのに、ちゃんと友達いるじゃん。でもすごいね。風田さん、飛んでるんだ。うん。どうやらクラスメイトみたいだね。うん。珍しい。
Everyone's worried. Oh, I'd be worried too if that was happening. Everyone was looking to the sky, watching the fate of the glider as if praying. Not praying hard enough. The glider had caught a thermal and was gradually gaining altitude. Before I knew it, the glider was tiny, passing over the hill with the wind turbines heading for Mount Tsukubai behind the school. I'm counting on you too. I shouted that towards the glider with no chance of being heard. Our thoughts of those days. I noticed at the same time a strange feeling seemed to have suddenly sp sprouted. Now it was obvious, we had gone to such pains and we refused to give up just because we were trying to aim for the morning glory. But in truth it wasn't just that, we were so caught up in ourselves, so reckless, I started to think that there was value in those activities and that time itself. That soft, sophomoric idea passed through my head. <clears throat> I guess so, only then did I realize. With the bike or with the test flight the other day, the reason for my regret, my despair and hopelessness was not that I couldn't achieve the objective. It was just that I left things halfway done, and I couldn't properly convey the convey the distinctions that I lost our nice time, and was due to this sense of loss. I felt like I just didn't want to lose that nice, bright, golden time. I'm letting both of you go for it. I shouted with as much power as I could muster. I looked at the glider, spreading its wings, throwing, soaring through the sky. Okay, that's kind of an abrupt change. This is what is necessary, this is what is unnecessary. I'm assuming this is Yelru now. I thought about what was the best choice for myself and set the most efficient schedule for each tra trajectory. Before I knew it, that way of thinking had become natural for me. No, I guess it's just people on the ground still talking. I, I guess. Whoops. Even if you lived a normal life, all the kids and adults around you would be jealous. Oh, she's just thinking back. Even though it seemed nice on the surface, the jealousy of others who curse your success would always be swirling around the bottom of your heart. Every time I saw that sort of thing, I would only think of myself and how I should try not to waste my life. Thought about everything that conflicted with my values like that. Because it's more fun like that, it's easy to understand, and it happened without hesitation. I must be on top, I must be noble, I must eliminate waste. I didn't hate myself, nor did I think that I was wrong, I still didn't think so, but... They fly because they can to be to be a sign. What does that mean? That doesn't seem so surprising to me now. I mean, birds don't think much about what is best for the people on the ground. When I thought about that, I felt like a fraud, I felt cramped. Wrong, it's not like that. Birds... Yep, here's the music that plays at the end of every route. Riding the thermal, we aimed for the waves radiating from the ridge of Mount Tsukubai. As far as I could tell, it would normally be pretty difficult to catch the airflow around this point to reach the cloud corridor. However, if we rode the mountain waves radiating from Mount Tsukubai, it might be possible. Mountain waves are the waves of air produced by the wind blowing over the mountains. Below that was the rotors, shaped uh, swirling turbulence. Mountain waves are not necessarily always produced, but they must have been relevant to the Morning Glory's formation. Why do you think that? So it was almost certain they would be there when a Morning Glory is there. If we could catch the turbulence just right and enter into the ascending portion. だから<笑> Mm. 
先輩が映ったのかもね。Oh, look, the glider looks normal. Birds fly because they like to. They like it. I don't think that's why they fly, but they like it so much they just have to fly. Well, okay, I'm very sure that's not the reason. And people can fly, so their lives aren't always so heavy. That's just it, I'm sure. Is not bad. Is it's not bad because I found the answer to something that was vexing me to no end. Eventually, you reach the rotor like rotor. Why is it, is it, it did that the last time too? Rotor dot 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 like turbulence. I had practiced flying in turbulence many times in the simulator, and I was used to air that wasn't calm. We still had a relatively stable pitch, so it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I didn't pay any attention to my sister's complaining, I just skillfully repeated the glider's controls. Okay, if we go like this. Craft shook once really dramatically and then began swaying a little, but the vibration stopped. They had successfully caught the ascending current and were climbing the mountain waves. <laughs> Glider had started to float up as if we were riding an elevator. We were getting further and further away from the ground and further into the sky amongst the clouds. And then pretty soon. Why'd the cool music stop? Coming. The glider reached our target altitude, and we could see the silhouette of morning glory in the distance. This is what our upperclassmen were aiming for. The corridor of clouds called the morning glory had become the whole purpose of this club. A huge path of wind drawn in the rotating airflow through the arches of the clouds. Light came shining from the eastward sky. The sun was rising, staining the sky in golden hues. The silhouette of the huge cloud was sparkling. I was thrust into a state of reverie by the majestic scene. I just sort of mutter, mutter it without even thinking. I forgot about the duck up there. Push down the stick, aiming for gold. It was a mysterious sight, almost like a fairy tale wor world. For some reason, I felt like I was gonna cry. It was like a cloud on the ground, like another world existing in a different layer of reality. That makes it look ginormous, the CG. I don't, I don't, I feel like it's not that big. Maybe it is, I don't know, I mean, I haven't seen one. That one image I found on Google, it didn't look that big. White carpet of clouds stretched out, reflecting the orange and bright golden hues. The moment I saw it, those words came into my mouth. Yes. 
線ゴールドキャンスってうん見つけたそっかそうだったんだな何かヨルちゃんさっきからどうしたの姉さん私見つけたおじいちゃんのくれた刺繍のお気に入りの言葉の意味それが分かったのうん At this time, I'm sure it doesn't have an objective meaning. It was, no, it was no big drama, no dramatic change in our relationship, no world shattering development, but, but to me it meant a lot. I mean, that's all it was. There was no major drama in this discovery. It was a major drama for me, though. For when I was just longing for the sky with no good reason, not for the sake of any competition, I found a new, new sense of self that had been asleep in the depths of my heart. Self consciousness generates its own values. It, it is energy, just like my grandfather said, and a limited expression of valuable heat. E expression? Yes, it was expression. To thrive on this view that I see now before me, but I produce something new, like the woodmills that produce energy from the wind. I thought that would be good. Is that a smudge on my screen, or is that just a part of the cloud? I think that's just a part of the cloud. This huge path of clouds was created by the rotating airflow. So if we got into the ascending part of the rotation, even though it was a glider with no power, we could stay afloat for as long as we wanted. Following the airflow born of the sky, flying around the wor world of gold. <laughs> ここまで持ってくるのに着陸のこともあるしちょっと休憩したいのというかそのために姉さん乗せてきたんじゃない。そうそうだけど大丈夫。気流も風も安定してるし難しいことは何もないからそれに万が一トラブルが起きて何かあ
私にとっての空って結局そういうこと自分にとって今まで持ち合わせたことのない感情だったから手に入れて戸惑ってしまっただけそうなのよねそしてそれこそが私にとって今しか手に入れることのできない大切なものだったんだ Because I'm always calculating and always thinking about meanings. Even though there was no need to think, I just kept on thinking about things like that. ヨルちゃんまだちゃんと入部してないよもう誰も気にしてないけどうんそうね着陸したら考える、uh, It's probably not so bad Maybe a waste of time but it's fun If I like that sort of thing I guess it's inevitable あそうだみんなに連絡しないと忘れてたじゃあ私が無線入れるわねここでもきちんとつながるのかな大丈夫のはずよ。I switched on the radio. Well, first, there's Aoi. Somehow I thought about Aoi first. So somehow you say, even though he's your boyfriend, so it should be obvious that he's the first one. What should I say first? We flew through the morning glory, we finally did it. Yeah, we had to tell him that. We had gotten here with help from everyone, and it was our role. But Matt and. Ah, it's to. Aoi Senpai. I'm a morning glory no way of turn them as. Ujin mok tek ta se te yatsu des. It's to. So de. Tori ga tobu liu wa wakarimashita. Ongo no jikan mo mitzke mashita. Tsumari. Without a hint of shame, I told Howie things so embarrassing that would make the average per person feel ill. Things that came to me through this, <clears throat> things that came to me through this club that I. Youth is a precious heat. Now for the epilogue. Never mind. Is there no epilogue? Hold on. Okay. One year later. Just before summer vacation, we had gotten our finals back and looked over them. The morning classes were over, and just after we ate lunch at Wendy's, we were headed to the club. Held our activities at secret base as usual. But along the way, the two of them always disagreed for some reason or another. ここは私に譲ってくれてるのいいと思うな。青田姉さん、それとこれとは話は別だし、昼食と色恋沙汰をごっちゃにしないで。三人で何かをするという意味では一緒だよ。だから先輩の手は私のもの。ダメ、それは
私のことだけ見ている時間も欲しいんです女の子ってそういうもんです Alright, I'll hold your hand on the way there and the other is on the way back. There, that sounds good, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, come on. Well, how about if I hold hands with one of you, then switch to the other at the midway point so it's like half and half? Well, that's close enough to what I said. I do not know. I haven't decided how long yet. You know, the whole time we're talking, we're getting closer. The halfway point's gonna keep getting shorter and shorter. I can't do that. How was I supposed to measure it? At lunchtime, I had to choose who to eat with or who to walk to the club with afterwards. If I could just measure precisely, maybe they wouldn't have any reason to argue. Probably started fighting pre 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 prenatal. I don't know what that means. Instead of a normal normal conversation, just a good fight over something inconsequential. When I got swept into it, and I was always a little annoyed, but kind of happy in a way too. It wasn't as if I disliked that kind of relationship. Uh, you can say that, but how am I supposed to know? We arrived at the destination in the middle of our argument. About what? Okay, I was actually thinking of bringing that up if it wasn't addressed by the end of the route. Well, there is no way to solve it, is there? What countries do that? I can't really think of any off the top of my head. That was kind of a tricky answer. I don't suppose prior, <clears throat> prior to that you wouldn't want to decide who'll be my bride with rock paper scissors. <sighs> so you're not even gonna ask me my opinion? I meant like, what do you think of marriage or something like that, but it was still a little early. Well, what would I do if that time really comes and I had to talk with them about choosing a marriage partner? Uh, I couldn't choose, yeah. It does indeed. Still no one else is coming to the secret base. I suppose if we went to the sweet shop for lunch, we would be in line forever and end up being late. Yeah, yeah, there. We decided to go forward and it seems everyone was looking forward to it. Everyone had been really tensed since that morning. Anyway, it could be a treat for all the hard work we had put into our test. なんだかそうした感じですね。やるちゃん、本当に部活熱心になったよね。お父さんと近いってきたら、性格変わったって驚きそう。よいにおばりアクションの予想できるから、しばらく会いたくないわね。うん、talk Two of them started part-time jobs because we need to pay back the chairman for the money he had lent us last year for the repairs. Naturally, I was working too. Naturally, Kotori Ageha and everyone else in the Soren Club were working, so we were able to pay the m money, <coughs> money back in just two months. The chairman didn't say a word, even though he had lent us quite a bit. 
Anyway, the two of them continued working even after we had repaid the money. Apparently, they had realized the joy of hard work. Oh, okay. What, what joy is that? Um, pretty decent, I guess. Not good, but also not bad. I did better than the class average, but not by much. It was a rather lackluster result. It was pretty much business as usual for me. How about you, Yoku? Huh. Man, I accidentally responded in a goofy voice. まあ、天才ですから。Recently, she'd been working a part-time job and coming to club activities, and at night she plays with Asa and me, so I'm kind of wondering when she even had the time to study so much. Smart people are really unfair. For now, the others haven't arrived yet, so we sat in chairs and waited. In the center of the table, a picture frame placed to stand out into my, entered my vision. It's a group photo we took together last year after those two came back. Just came back. <laughs> Well, photos really are pretty cool, and just looking at this, all the excitement of that time comes back. And at some point, there will be a next. There, there will be a next time. Next time, I got a chance. I want to see that scene for myself. That is what I wanted. <laughs> Everyone else was coming. That day we were gonna practice the actual glider, so first we need to carry it out to the runway. I went over I went over there so the two of them could carry the glider. Got Rige and Kanako all put down their things and went over to, gl to the glider. I got up too and followed everyone. Why is that up there? Oh, okay. I guess that's supposed to do that. This hello. Oh, our youth was still continuing. Now oh, there we go, there's the end. Alrighty, well that's the end of that route. Now there's just one left. Now I said I was gonna do Amine's route while doing Go Go Nippon at the same time, but since I'm playing Saya no Uta, I think I'm whoops, I think I'm gonna put Go Go Nippon on hold until I'm done either this or that. Whichever is first. So Oi, so thank you for watching and goodbye. Next is Amine's route, the last one. Which I heard is pretty bad, but must be, could it be worse than Kotori's route? I mean, I hope not.